Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to connect your Printful account to Etsy so that orders will flow automatically from your Etsy store through the Etsy Printful API that they have now. API stands for Application Programming Interface. It's basically like a tool that's in Printful and that allows you to create the listings through a Printful interface for your Etsy store and then it pushes it to Etsy store. It saves your listing that you created as a draft and then you can do whatever you want with it there you can push it live from there and everything's like pre-populated when somebody orders it goes through automatically without any additional work from you it's really really awesome so on your printful platform there will be an etsy shop area and then you can populate your items through there for your etsy store and then once they're all populated and combined with printful you won't have to do anything when somebody orders something from your etsy store so it's totally awesome i have a total mix of products in my store like some are synced and some are not it's a little more complicated for me and I'm hoping to make it less complicated for you. So let's do this. If you created your Printful listings before the Etsy Printful API existed and you don't want to touch those listings, like I don't want to touch those listings because they might have hearts on them, they have views, somebody might have already ordered something and left feedback on that item and then the link would be broken when somebody clicks through to read their review and they want to look at the item or something. So, so I don't bother deleting and recreating listings that are already existing. You have to sync those and that's a little bit tricky. I'll go through that with you today. So if you actually created your Printful listings in this tool, then things are going to flow through automatically. And then if you have products that are not fulfilled through Printful, that will also require some manual work on your part. Um, basically, you just need to tell Printful to ignore those. So I'll go through all that with you today. So the first thing we're going to do is how to connect your Printful to your Etsy store. You want to start on your Printful interface, native to Printful. You're just on your Printful printful.com your dashboard you're going to go to the stores button up here and you're going to see this one down here that says connect to an e-commerce platform so as you can see i'm already connected to etsy but for the purpose of showing you how to do it i'm going to go through it again it's not going to mess my store up or anything now if you have printful on any other platform you'll notice this looks very similar here you can see all the APIs that they have for all of these stores and the bottom one is Etsy. This will take you to a page where you can connect to Etsy. There's a little getting started video here you can watch if you like later on your own and um, you're just going to hit this connect to Etsy button here. And now it's going to take you to an Etsy page and it says you are signed in as and then it says you're sign in and if it's not you you're going to want to sign in as somebody else to connect the appropriate store to your printful but in this case this is my appropriate store so it's asking you for you know permissions to do all this stuff so i'm going to press allow access and now ta-da i have my store so now it brings you directly to add products to your store. So now we're going to go through the different types of products and how to handle it. I have a bunch of products that I don't order through Printful. So I'm going to show you how to handle that because what happens is the Etsy Printful API is now going to populate all of your products from your Etsy store into your Printful Etsy dashboard here. A lot of these products you might do yourself or you might have another partner fulfill for you. I have a bunch of mugs and none of my mugs are fulfilled through the Printful. So what I want to do is ignore product. Ignoring a product and then the nice little pop-up comes up. Ignoring a product means Printful won't fulfill it. So I'm going to hit that. And now it's ignored. You can now see there's a little banner that says ignored. Now, if you go here, I have lots and lots of mugs here, and I'm going to hit on all those. So here you can see it says 10 products selected. So it only is selecting products per page. And now I'm going to say ignore to all those products. And then it's asking me if I want to ignore all these, and I say yes. And then even though I don't get a pop-up box that says success, these have been ignored. I saw the little blip on the um, background, and that to me says that it was successful. So now this is really how you tell you just refresh your page and then you can see they're ignored all of them are ignored here now and that's actually the same as it is in my Shopify Printful app so it's not like something's wrong it just doesn't give you like a success box so anything that has not been ignored is going to show up in your orders bucket here in this list and if it doesn't know where to put the order Printful is going to ask you what to do with the order when it comes in if it's not been ignored already it's going to say what do you want me to do with this order
So let me show you now how to create a new listing so that this listing is going to be automatically fulfilled through Printful when somebody orders it, which is totally awesome. So we go to stores. We're going to go to our Etsy store and go to add. I'm going to create a t-shirt. So basically you're just creating your product here like you would from scratch and i'm just going to leave this as is because i am going to customize this when i go into my etsy listing so i'm going to proceed to pricing here and make my pricing now i'm going to hit submit to store right now what it's doing is it's syncing to the etsy store so what's going to happen now is the printful etsy api is going to dump this into my drafted listings in my Etsy store. So I can either click here and go directly to my Etsy store through this link, or let's say I wanted to just go into my Etsy store proper and go into the listings and go to my drafts there. And I will now see that the item that I just created on my Printful dashboard is now populated in my Etsy store. Go into your Etsy listing because you need to finish your Etsy listing. You need to finish your title and you want to do your tags and any other little incidentals like holiday or occasion, etc. You'll see that for the photo photos, the Printful tool has put in a picture of each of the colors of the t-shirt that you have decided to offer when you were creating the listing in Printful. So that saves you time because your pictures are already in here. I personally like to add some additional photos and information and you have 10 pictures to play with so there's plenty of room if you only have three colors of t-shirt. Regardless, you can delete these and switch them out if you want. You can do whatever you want with your pictures. So here's your title. This is the same title that it was in Printful and I need to change that. This is just for show and tell. I already have this t-shirt in my store, but I would change the title. And as you can see, it already populated the category and it populated it's for men and women, which is great because it's a unisex t-shirt and it's for men and women. Under primary color, the selection is I offer more than one. It's already pre-populated that way. And it actually lists the three colors. They're called what they are by the t-shirt manufacturer, which is great. And you can see that the three colors are already under here in gray. So you can see, and those are the ones that I chose in my Printful store. So you have the option to choose holiday, choose occasion. The sizing has already been populated through Printful. So you can see right here, it says extra small, letter size men's, small men's, medium men's, and four more. So that's great. So you probably, if you're like me, <laughs> you want to switch this to automatic because that's what I would normally do. I would customize this entire description and it doesn't automatically choose your production partner for you. So you do want to choose your production partner, which is the Printful. You also want to tell it what section you want your t-shirt to go into. You want to add your tags. This is all your custom stuff and you want to add your materials. The price is already populated through the Printful app, as is the sizes, which we already talked about. So you don't have to worry about doing the variations, which is awesome. Huge help. So basically, it's a lot easier to do your listings. And the shipping is already populated as well to whatever you chose for your shipping in the Printful. So that saves you a lot of time as well. So now you can hit publish. I'm going to go to save as draft because I don't need this. And um, that's how you do it. That is how you populate listings in Etsy through Printful Etsy API. And the cool thing now is this particular listing that I created directly through the Printful Etsy API will automatically, when somebody orders it, whatever variation they order, whatever color or size, that product will automatically get pushed to my Printful for fulfillment. So say you get an order that comes in and it's an order for an item that is a printful item, but that you actually created the listing before there was such a thing as the API for Printful and Etsy. You created the listing manually in Etsy. Now Printful is asking you to sync the order or ignore it. When you go in to sync the order, you basically have to redesign the product all over again. Printful doesn't have any of the information really about what the item even is. 
because there's just no information from the printful talking to Etsy because they never talked before, if you know what I mean. So you basically have to go in, redesign your t-shirt or whatever the product is, replace the artwork on it and everything. And then when you go in to place the order, the address is all populated for you. The shipping, that's very easy to do. You'll probably know what to do when you look in there. But um, I'm sorry I don't have an order to actually show you. I actually had a failed recording <laughs> and I had an order ready to go to sync to show you and I synced it during that bad recording. So sorry. Basically you just have to recreate the order and then it actually only recreates one variation of the order, which kind of stinks because if you have five different sizes of t-shirt, five different colors that your t-shirt is offered in, that's 25 variations, you know what I mean? And you have to wait to receive another order for that t-shirt before you can actually populate it with a new variation. I don't think there's a way that you can go in and just redo it while keeping that listing in Etsy, to my knowledge. So that's kind of a little bit of a wrinkle in the whole Etsy printful combination. That's just something that you have to deal with. It's fine. I mean, you know, it is what it is. So we just got to deal with it. I mean, it's really cool that they have this tool for us to use now and into the future. So that's cool. And for the rest, we just kind of have to deal with it and take it as it comes. So if you're curious about selling the printful products to your own Etsy store, I sell t-shirts and I think they make the best print on demand direct to garment tees that I've seen anywhere. And I have done some research before I decided to work with the printful. Definitely check out more of my videos. I'll link them up in the eye up there. And if you'd like to get started selling with the Printful yourself, and you'd also like to support me and my channel and all that I do here, please consider signing up using the link below. Thanks. I hope this video has been helpful for you today. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me and it tells YouTube that you like my content. So that's huge because then it will show more people who are searching for these things, my video. Yay. Please subscribe to my channel if you like my content. And if you've made it this far into the video, I'm guessing that you do. Definitely subscribe. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope this has been helpful. I hope that your store kicks butt. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.